Oh, it only takes the theme song to transport us right back on board the Pacific Princess. <laughs> Yes, the love boat sailed into our lounge rooms with its tantalising storylines and all-star cast. And one of the favourites on deck was bartender Isaac Washington, played by Ted Lang. Thank you. Careful, Careful my screwdrivers will hit you like a hammer. In that case, I'll take one. Yeah. The actor went on to appear in countless roles on screen as well as working as a skilled writer and director but now he's back on our shores for another project that will have you wanting to hit the high seas. And it's great to have Ted Lang joining us in the studio. Hey, hey Ted, good to see you. All right, yeah, there that was you it, go. Right? That was it. You did it 100%. Does everyone do that to you all the time? Because yeah, you kind of no, made that famous, do. didn't you? You'd be surprised. Sometimes I'm surprised. I yeah. have little old ladies, they put down their walker and they go, boom, and <laughs> <laughs> it looked like you had so much fun on the set. Is, is that how it was? Yeah, we did. We had a lot of fun. We were very lucky, the chemistry of the actors, and I think that's 90% of what was going on, is that we all thought each other was funny, we enjoyed each other's sense of humor, and we had a chemistry. It's like you two. Yeah. You know, yeah, we're doing our best, yeah. you know. We you know, yeah. know Isaac, you know. Uh, but... that, that's how you do it, though. You know, you got to get a mustache, you'll be yeah. fine. You had so many stars through as well, with special yeah. appearances. Any fun stories around that? Oh, well, yeah, we had a lot of great stars that come out. I'll tell you one, Douglas Fairbanks Jr., if you remember him at all, and Ginger Rogers did an episode together, and he was, he remarked to Ginger Rogers, he says, you know, uh, Ginger, we never slept together. And she said, that's right, Dougie, and it's not going to happen now. <laughs> you know, so it, it was, I mean, it was fun to be around yeah. them uh, and to see them interact, and then we got to interact with them. We got the giggles one time with Robert Stack. I don't know if you remember yeah, Robert yeah. Stack played Elliot Ness in The Untouchables. That's right. And he was a love interest for Lauren Tweez. And he was doing his lines like Elliot Ness and, and the crew. We started laughing. We couldn't stop laughing because every time he said his lines, he was saying them like <laughs> With Elliot <laughs> Ness. Yeah. You know, so, you know, yeah, there was a lot of great I, I remember it from <laughs> Flying High, too. But, yeah, he's, he's definitely a very funny guy. Yes. Yeah, but there were so many great guest stars that you had on the show. I mean, Andy Warhol was one I saw, Frank yeah. Sinatra. Gloria Vanderbilt, yeah. uh, who actually passed away uh, yes, a couple recently. of weeks ago. Do you yeah. recall her being on yeah, set? Yeah, yeah. They, well, they did a whole uh, episode about designers. So we had Halston, we okay. had uh, Jeffrey Bean, we had all of the designers on, and uh, uh, Bobby Short was on. I don't know if you remember Bobby Short, but he was a piano a pianist. And uh, so y you never knew what you were going to get. I'm, I remember one time we were supposed to do an episode with the Beach Boys. Okay. Oh. Okay? They couldn't make it. Yeah. So they got to Temptations. Wow. Okay, cool. so I went to the rest and said, hey, you got the Temptations and I'm not in any of the scenes. <laughs> and they go, well, it was supposed oh, to be British. the Beach Boys. I said, but nobody knows that. <laughs> I want to be in the scenes with the Temptations. We had the Harlem Globetrotters on. We played basketball with them. Yeah. When are you going to get a chance to do that? It's yeah. incredible. Yeah. And your role has had a lot of longevity. They've used yeah. this in yeah. other shows as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've done guest appearances on stuff I shouldn't have. But uh, <laughs> it was fun because I was playing the Isaac character or we were making reference to it. So, yeah, I got very lucky because, you, you know, you never know. You know, you hit something and it can die instantaneously or it goes on for 40 something years yeah. so it's an, it's a really an iconic role when you think about it you know yourself along with probably Sam Malone from Cheers and Mo Sam the bartender Malone, from Simpsons you're yeah. probably the most yeah. famous one of the most yeah. famous yeah. bartenders Ted on Danson. television yeah exactly yeah that's what I tell Ted Danson all the time <laughs> you know, come on man you're second famous to me you only did what bartender for a little while I've been doing it my whole life you but go. you've only got to look at your IMDB page to see that you really haven't gone anywhere you've, you've been really busy with with uh, directing and writing uh, over plays, the years. Plays, I write plays. Yeah. I call myself a footnote historian because what I do is I write plays about African American participation in American historical moments and when white historians write, we're a footnote. And so what I do is I take those footnotes 
research it and expand upon okay. it. And I saw so I've written uh, three plays that are uh, African American participation in American Revolution. Uh, George Washington's favorite slave is called George Washington's Boy. Mm -hmm. I got another show about the uh, Harper's Ferry, which was an incident that happened in America that they attribute to the start of the Civil War. And they talk about the guy, John Brown, who was a white guy, and his sons, but they don't talk about there were five black guys with him. And one of them was named Osborne P. Anderson. And then the third uh, historical trilogy, part of the trilogy, is a thing called Lady Patriot, which is about a slave that was given to the Confederate which is, uh, for those of you that don't know, the Confederacy was breaking up the Union. Mm -hmm. uh, they gave him a black slave, and she could read and write, and she was a spy for the Union. Wow. wow. There you go. Oh, it's great. What a story. <laughs> is that a story? Yeah, Come on. Is, yeah. So uh, I made plays about that. What are you here for in Australia? Oh, for, it, what's happening is we're celebrating bringing the princess Pacific Princess back to Sydney, and they've got three cruises that are going to leave out of Sydney. One is a 90-day cruise to from Sydney to South America and all around South America. A second one is they got a 13-day cruise to New Zealand, and uh, they got a third cruise, 21 days, and that's Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands, and it play, it, it hopes to be a very very enjoyable, wonderful cruise, and I got a drink called Isaac, which you can get drunk I was going to say, are you, are you still, you know, doing the flair and shaking yeah, the yeah, cocktails? Yeah, sure, or? absolutely I am, yeah. Yeah, yeah. well, if anyone's going to make us get back on a cruise ship, if we haven't been on one for a while, it's certainly you, Ted. Thank so, you, you're very kind. Gr great to see you. I tell you what, you, you look just as young as you ever did back well, in the Love Boat days. You, you, you're very, very <laughs> observant. <laughs> That's going to the gym, man. That's yeah. going to the gym when you don't want to go. You know this. The cruise ship gym. Yeah, right. yeah, there you go. Well, Good on you, Ted. Great more, to see yeah, you. And to find out more about the Australian return of Princess Cruises, the Pacific Princess, you can head to our website.